Hi there, I'm Kristen Horner Warren. I'm here today to talk to you about the use of essential oils around parrots. I hope you'll stay tuned to the very end of the video because I'm gonna share an essential oil feather spray recipe with you that we use all the time in our home and that my birds love. Um, if you've been around birds for very long, you're probably aware of the fact that birds are extremely sensitive to any sort of airborne contaminant. And this is something that people have known for a long, long time. You've probably heard the expression about the canary in the coal mine. And this comes from the fact that for years and years, miners would actually take canaries into the mine with them um, in order that the bird will um, would detect the presence of toxic gas gases before they would hurt the miner. And the way that the bird would alert the miners to the presence of toxic gases is by dying. And so birds are um, very sensitive to any type of airborne contaminant. And so it is definitely possible to harm parrots with essential oils. It is definitely possible to kill parrots with essential oils. And so you need to proceed with a lot of caution here. Um, but in my experience, it's also possible to use essential oils safely and beneficially around birds. Um, you just need to know what you're doing. And that's what that this video is about. Now, I will tell you from the very start that I am not an avian veterinarian. My qualification for talking about essential oils around parrots is that I have shared my home with eight parrots. And also I am an expert when it comes to botanical medicine, at least used around humans. Um, for the past several years, I've also run a large Facebook group, discussion group, where we talk about the use of essential oils around parrots. Um, we have over 6,000 members there now, and there's a really great exchange of information that takes place there. And so if you're interested in learning more about this topic, I would definitely encourage you to join. So I will provide a link to that group below this video. But anyway, this, um, these are some pictures of some of my birds. Um, uh, but I also always like to say from the outset, and I do this anytime I'm talking to anybody about parrots, is that it is my belief that parrots are not well suited to life in ca captivity. It is absolutely impossible for us to recreate a bird's natural environment in captivity. It is impossible for us to create an environment where they can really truly thrive physically and emotionally and mentally. Um, just because parrots have dietary needs, they have exercise needs, they have needs for to live in a certain social structure that we just can't reproduce in captivity. And so that creates a situation where there are an awful lot of parrots who are not thriving in captivity and develop neuroses and other problems that cause them to find it difficult to um, stay in homes. You know, they say that the average parrot has four or five homes by the end of its lifetime, and that's definitely true. So I say all of this because I don't want you to take this, this video as inspiration to go out and buy a baby bird from a breeder. If you're considering the possibility of sharing your home with a parrot, I would encourage you to do a great deal of research about what that life actually looks like, both for you and for the bird. And then if you decide you still want to proceed, I would encourage you to find a bird that is in need of a new home um, so that you can relieve the suffering of, of a bird that is maybe living in a miserable, miserable set of circumstances because they have an owner that really didn't understand the um, responsibility that they were taking on when they got a parrot as a pet. So now that that's out of the way, let's talk about essential oils around parrots. The first and most important thing that I need to say about this topic is that you can absolutely not trust labels when it comes to essential oils. There are dozens and dozens and dozens of products out there that have labels that state that the product is 100% pure, 
that it's organic, that it's natural, and there's just no way that you can trust those claims when those claims are coming from a manufacturer. The only way that you can trust that an essential oil is pure and natural is if that oil has been subjected to third-party laboratory testing, meaning that a person who is not selling that oil that has no financial interest in the sale of the oil has um, examined the oil in a laboratory and confirmed that it doesn't that it is in fact an essential oil as a as opposed to a synthetic fragrance number one and number two that what is on the label is actually what is in the bottle so um Essential oils can be safe and beneficial in a home with parrots as long as you take these few things into consideration. Again, that you're using an oil that has been subjected to third-party testing. And later in the video, we're gonna get into some details about how to track good brands down. Um, that you avoid oils that are known to be toxic to birds. And again, I'm gonna give you a list of those oils here in just a few minutes that you avoid the use of essential oils around juvenile birds. And so this means birds under the one year of age. The, um, the metabolic system of baby birds, the respiratory system of baby birds is just too sensitive for the use of even very safe essential oils um, to be okay around them. So wait until your bird is at least one year of age. Um, that you use an ultrasonic diffuser um, as opposed to an oil burner or an atomizer. Now, heating oils, even really good oils, whether it's over a candle or a light bulb or any type of appliance that involves heat, actually alters the molecular structure of the oil in a way that causes it to become unsafe. So don't use oil burners around um, birds. Atomizers. Um, so an atomizer would be a diffuser where you actually attach the bottle of essential oil to the um, to the diffuser itself, and so it's actually atomizing tiny particles of the full strength oil into the air. That just tends to result in a concentration of essential oil that is too great to be safe around parrots that you should avoid the use of essential oils internally with parrots. And when you use oils topically around parrots, that it is only in an extremely dilute form. And an example of that would be the feather spray that I'm gonna talk to you about later in this video. Specific types of oils to avoid around birds, even if you're using a safe, reputable brand, include melaleuca, which is also known as tea tree oil, peppermint, um, any type of hot oil. So this would include things like cinnamon, clove, oregano, thyme, those kinds of things. Tree oils. So this would include things like cedar, eucalyptus, pine. Um, now I'm well aware of the fact that certain, well, all parrot species in the wild um, actually nest inside of trees. And so there are probably certain tree-based essential oils that are safe for certain species of parrot. Like for instance, we know that cockatoos in the wild, some of them will actually nest inside eucalyptus trees. But in order to make a safe recommendation for all types of parrots that live in captivity, we just say to err on the safe side, you avoid tree oils because there are certain tree oils that are definitely not not safe around parrots, with one exception, which I'll get to um, in the next slide. Um, and then lastly, citronella is an oil that is not safe to use around birds. Um, so what does that leave over? The generally safe oils would be citrus oils. Um, so things like orange, lemon, lime, bergamot, grapefruit, mandarin, those kinds of things. Oils that are derived from flowers. So this would include lavender, chamomile, ylang-ylang, geranium, jasmine, rose. And then the one exception to the tree oil rule would be frankincense. Frankincense is an oil that can be used safely and really beneficially around parrots, provided that it comes from a reputable brand. So how to find a safe brand to use around parrots. Now I'm gonna give you a list 
of safe brands, but I will give it to you with the caveat that this is something that is subject to change. And so you need to do your due diligence and double check. So I would encourage you to join the Essential Oils Consumer Reports group on Facebook because they um, publicize results of third party research. Um, third party testing into oils. And so that would be a group where you could go in order to be alerted if there's been some sort of change to this list. But anyway, as of right now, safe brands include doTERRA, Plant Therapy, Eden's Garden, Revive, Young Living. Now the caveat to Young Living is that a few years ago they did have some third party testing which showed that a few of their oils contained a synthetic ingredients, but this seems to be a situation that has gotten straightened out. Um, Rocky Mountain Oils and Original Swiss Aromatics. Now things to avoid, specific brands to avoid. Um, Again, join the Essential Oils um, Consumer Reports group to get more information. But anything from Sensi. Sensi is not an essential oil. Sensi is a synthetic fragrance product, and it's also um, something that is being it's it's a it's a way of of diffusing a scent that involves heat. And so, as we discussed earlier, any type of heat creates a situation that is not safe for parrots when it comes to something that's being diffused into the air. So Scentsy or anything similar, including scented candles, not safe around parrots, period. Um, anything from Amazon. Unfortunately, there are a lot of um, unreputable Amazon sellers out there. And so even though you may be getting a bottle from Amazon that says doTERRA, for instance, on the label, you don't know for certain whether or not that bottle has been tampered with. There are lots of problems with counterfeit oils being sold on Amazon, so I just avoid that altogether and order directly from the company. Anything from Walmart or uh, similar. When uh, we just, um, just last month was Christmas, we had a huge influx of members to our Facebook group, um, Essential Oils for Parrots, of people that had received gift sets of essential oils for Christmas. And so if you've received a gift set, um, if you know many of these things come from places like Walmart, um, you definitely don't want to use those around parrots because they are definitely not safe. Those products are almost always synthetic fragrances. Um, if the price is too good to be true, it probably is. Real, pure essential oils are extremely expensive. And so definitely this is an area where you get what you pay for. And again, you cannot trust labels. If the label says pure, natural, organic, safe, those kinds of things, those claims mean nothing. Again, unless that oil, unless that brand has been subjected to third party testing, you really cannot put any type of stock in label claims. So moving on to the feather spray recipe that I promised. Um, feather spray is something that we use extensively in our home. This is a recipe that I got from the Animal Desk Reference by Dr. Melissa Shelton. Um, and like I say, we use it all the time in our home. So you're gonna need to get a glass spray bottle in order to do this. Um, this is the one area where you can buy safely on Amazon, things like this, um, accessories that you would use with essential oils. So it needs to be glass. Um, this obviously is larger than four ounces, um, but a, either a four or eight or 12 ounce glass bottle, you're going to fill that bottle with water and then 20 drops of lavender, 20 drops of lemon, 20 drops of wild orange. Um, you can also add frankincense to this recipe as well. And because essential oils do not mix with water, you need to shake this bottle very vigorously immediately before spraying it. So the oils will actually disperse in the water temporarily, but they'll disperse long enough for you to be able to miss the, the spray on your bird. So you shake very vi vigorously and then you can mist the, um, the spray on your bird. The way I like to do this is by actually misting um, straight up into the air, which then creates kind of a cloud of um, 
of mist that then falls down on top of the bird. Unfortunately, some parrots have come from abusive situations where people have used spray bottles as a discipline tool with parrots. And so, so some rehomed or rescued parrots are really traumatized about the notion of being sprayed with a spray bottle. So you need to be careful about that. Be respectful of your bird's feelings. But anyway, um, we have found this recipe to be really beneficial for um, screaming for irritability, for hormonal behavior among parrots in the springtime. Um, we've had birds that have feather plucking problems and the feather spray seems to really help with that. We also have elderly birds that have chronic pain, especially with the addition of the frankincense. The feather spray seems to be really soothing and our birds just really enjoy it. Every time we get out the spray bottle, everybody gets excited and it seems to be waiting their turn um, in order to get misted with the feather spray. So um, get a really good quality brand, Get your glass bottle from Amazon or similar. Try out this feather spray recipe. Join the Essential Oils for Parrots Facebook group, which I'll link below. Join the Essential Oils Consumer Reports group so that you can stay abreast of the latest information about third-party testing and enjoy essential oils safely in your home with birds. Thanks for being here and have a great day.